going on beautiful people welcome back to another meandering yogi so today i'm super excited i wanted to be wanting to tell you about this bike we got uh had to buy a new mule for the farm this is it so you guys have been following the videos you know i've had that uh yamaha 400 uh past couple years here on uh on the property we've been running that and basically what we do is the property here is a little over 100 acres and uh the bikes are used for t tools basically instead of toys uh don't get me wrong get to play on a little bit but uh mostly to tools so if you watch my videos you've seen on the other bike you know I, and i'll show you some clips here uh what we do with it uh basically pulling stuff around more than anything and using the winch more than anything because we're always gathering lumber uh or we're we're having to haul something in a trailer or and then we have the uh the uh, wood chipper, which is you know, fairly large, so we pull that around as well. Basically, that's about all we do with them. Uh, get back in the woods here, cutting trails, uh, pulling wood with the winch, that kind of thing, and just being able to get to places so uh, without having to hoof it all the time, right? So anyway, here it is. Seaforce Overland 1000. Uh, so far, so good, gang. I am absolutely in love with this bike huge differences um you know well for one size uh this thing is huge compared to the other bike um i mean i'm jumping from 20 years in in bike size and you know for me this is all new every bit of it uh this style of transmission the, the whole bit so a few things i like about this bike i'll tell you right now the automatic transmission absolutely love it the power steering absolutely love it it's so easy to ride my wife gets on here and not that you know that makes a difference whether but she's just not had much experience on on running these so for her it's super simple she can hop on here put it in gear go there's no hassle no curious no whether she's in the right gear or any of that she can just put it in gear and go uh it is a powerhouse i mean this thing has just got tons of power uh, i I never imagined I'd have a four wheeler do almost 80 mile an hour stock and it will. And it's just, I'll never do it. Let you tell, I'll tell you that right now. I had it up to about 45, which I still haven't done the break in break in period on this is uh 200 hours and or 200 miles. I think whichever comes from something like that. Uh, but I'm nowhere, nowhere near close. I'm actually about 60 miles. I think I've got on it now. And Every bit of that's been right here on this 100 acres, other than I think eight miles. I took it for one ride around some of the trails we have here by the house. Uh, other than that, it's all been around the farm. But uh, let me grab this thing. I'll walk you around the bike real quick and just show you a couple things. Uh, for one, huge boxes. Now this center box, you'll see in, in the videos, I'll show you some of these clips. This center box right here comes off and there's a double up seat that actually mounts there. We don't have the double up seat, but I've got a cushion that fits in that area real well. And I've also got my uh, seat, my back seat off that soft tail I've got uh, that fits in there real well. And uh, so both of those will work for now. It's got the do up, uh, two up seat or uh, pegs rather for the feet big floorboards uh there's plenty of room my gosh you get on this thing and there's just all kinds of room even if you got the seat on here for the one person with the backrest still plenty of room got these huge flat nice big and these are metal underneath uh so you got nice big storage space here uh when you got all the boxes off same thing here you got a nice big flat level spot you can tie down things too uh this thing comes stock with 27 inch tires bead uh beaded uh, rims so they don't slip oh the dual shocks uh it's got the undercarriage is completely uh protected i think it's eight millimeter poly poly something or other plus other than this front right here which is the metal aluminum i think these are plastic but it's better than nothing again this is stock you know right from the factory you didn't have to buy any extra stuff we go with windshield the fairing front bumper fog lights 3,000 pound winch i mean this thing's got it all gang it's just absolutely a, a beast and i love it uh on your ignition or your ignition on your up here you've got 
uh, your speedometer and then you can head, set this just like you do in a car if you want miles or hours or well not hours but in the car but if you want your miles or your hours on here you can do that um, and then it lets you know whether you're in two-wheel drive four-wheel drive low lock the whole bit um, let's see what else we got here and then there's different uh, warning la lamps and lights to let you know what's going on or if you got your brights on that kind of thing and you've got a switch here for your fog lights on that front grill and you're in and out for your winch it's got a horn uh, your power switch on and off that's all kind of just the simple stuff your light switches for different settings on your lights over here you've got uh, you can put it in four wheel drive you flip that up put it in four wheel drive now if you want four wheel drive lock which they call f lock on this bike then you push this red button and that engages all the wheels and tires uh, which makes it also hard to steer uh, and they will let you know that and warn you ahead of time that you uh, want to be careful when you put it in that flock because you basically lose your steering so you want to be going either forward or backwards um, you've got right here is a park brake if you pull this in and you flip that forward you can lock that for your park brake um, I think that's it for it well no there's one other little thing over here now if you do use the F lock they've got uh, basically it's governed if you put it in low lock uh, your bike is governed and it's only going to go about half throttle maybe not even that and then if you feel safe and you want to go faster or want it to have more power in f-lock then you've got this right here which basically disengages that uh, governing yeah so you would come off the throttle pull this in and throttle it up again and you have more power so uh, that's if you're in f-lock but that's uh, kind of it and an overview gas tanks back here got a big gas tank um, couple things like I say there's only a couple things on the bike that I really don't care for and it's nothing that I won't get used to and that is the turning radius and gas mileage gas mileage it sucks the fuel but it's a 1000 and you know I give it I, I, I guess I got to suck up the the gas for the power and that's basically what we do with it what I'll be doing with it is uh, pulling things around but anyway, I just wanted to go over this bike real quick with you, gang, and uh, let you know what we got. And I will be throwing more videos up as we use it and do things with it to let you know how it's going. So far, I am super happy with this thing. It, Like I said, it's a beast, uh, and I'm just looking forward to enjoying it. And, of course, you can see out here what we... This is one of the campsites, and we've been cutting some, cutting some trails and stuff through the woods and cutting some trees out. And, well, anyway just doing homestead stuff all right so that's me gang i know it's been a while since i've done a video i'm sorry we've been super super busy much love and respect thank you guys for watching i will do more videos on this bike as we go because i think it's going to be a, a big part of the life around here so anywho much love and respect we'll see you in the next one